Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Cable Rica 24 watt LED desk lamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So as you can see, this is a pretty large box here. So we'll open up the end here. See if we can pull this out. So we have the styrofoam here with the lamp inside. Okay, so I got it out. So here's the lamp in the packaging. And it came with an instruction manual here. And there's also this little sheet that says, I'm your new partner. I have a 31.5 inch body that can illuminate your workbench evenly. I'm super bright, 1200 lumens and above. Cheerfully, I am honored to protect your eyes every second. I might be hot when working, but don't be scared. I just can't stop myself to adore you. And then it has a customer service email there. So here's the user manual. Looks like it folds open. So here we have the different dimensions. The light is 79.6 centimeters. I think that's 31 and a half inches wide. Then the working height is 27.5 inches tall and it has an adjustable lamp head. So this little part in here is flexible. So it shows some different orientations there. It says clip using wide one to 8.3 centimeters max. Net crosswise working angle is 30 degrees max. So it looks like you can rotate that 30 degrees. Here it says how to mount the lamp bar. So it says install the bar. So it looks like you install the light on the bar. You connect the 24 volt input it says use this lamp insert the lamp head into the pole tighten the screw plug the ac adapter into a power supply use only the supplied ac adapter to avoid damage or fire connect the adapter to the lamp here it says insert the lamp head into the clip as shown in the figure below so it looks like you clip it directly in you don't slide it in next it says how to use the button so you have brightness color temperature light sensor indicator light sensor touch on off and light sensor switch so it says on off touch once to power on again to power off so here it talks about the light sensor switch it says touch once to adjust the light intensity automatically according to the environment when the indicator is on the lamp will adjust auto environment turns bright the lamp turns dark gradually environment turns dark the lamp turns bright gradually please do not block the light sensor for function working the color temperature it says click to select from six light temperature levels. So we have 3000K, 3500, 4000, 4500K, 5000, and 6000 Kelvin. Brightness adjust. Brightness dimmable by long pressing the button. The lamp's brightness will change gradually. Here are the specs. We have the model number is KB WL-200B. It's 24 watts, 1200 lumens, greater than 90 CRI. So that's the color rendering index. The higher, the better it renders colors. The input is 24 volts by one amp. It says DC jack. It says no glare, good for eyes. Here's some warnings here. And the backside is German. So let's pull the lamp out here. This is the lamp itself. It's very long. This is the stand, also very long. And the power adapter. Power adapter is 24 volts at one amps, just like the specs said. So I'm going to connect this up now. So the power does go through this base. So I like that. So this will clamp onto your desk, but you don't have to have a cord running up here. Here is the other end. So this will clip on here, like so. So if I press that in, you can see there's a little snap there and I can press into that to remove it. So if you were to travel with this for some reason, you can pop it apart for storage and transport, and then you can put it back together when you're ready to use it. So that could make this very good for like a trade booth or something. So here we have another power connector that goes into the light itself. So it has a little cord, looks like it's on already. So I want to demonstrate this before I connect it up to my desk here. So we have on off here. Okay, so this is the light sensor here, and this blue light will turn on when I press that. If I press it again, it will turn the blue light off. So that's how you can tell if the light sensor is on. So this is the sensor here. This would be the color temperature. And here's the brightness. So it says long press this, so it looks like it's getting brighter here. So we're not supposed to look at this, but I do want to show the light. So you can see there are some pretty densely packed LEDs in there, and there's a diffuser on the front to give you really even light. So this has this kind of silicone bendy area so that's how you can position it is by bending that the other end has a clamp so i'll demonstrate clamping this so the clamp does have rubber on it and there's a knob here and there's also rubber on this side so i'll loosen this up and that's a big gap there so we have at least three and a quarter inches there so i only need about one and a half so i'll screw that back in this bench here is an inch and a half thick 
Okay, so there we go. Here it is from a little further distance. And of course, this is on the front of my desk right now. Normally you would put this on the back of your desk. And you can see here that it takes up very little surface of the desk. So if you're looking for a low profile lamp, this could be a good option for you. And it's very sturdy. So I'm going to switch this to the back of my desk now. Okay, I have this on the back of my desk. I have my dual monitor set up here. It's kind of pointing straight ahead, so it gets in my eyes. So now I'm going to bend that down. So here you can see it's going down now. That was a very easy to position. I don't quite have it centered on the two monitors. I could probably move the base over a little bit and center it perfectly if I wanted to. There's a super easy way I just move the monitors over. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the ambient light sensor. Turn off my camera light here. Now I'll turn off the overhead lights. So here you can see the lamp lighting up the desk and there is a lot of light here. If you're doing writing, reading, any kind of work, this is plenty of light. So it's dark in the rest of the room, but right here, it's very bright. So there I held down the brightness button and it darkened. I'll hold it down again, it will get brighter. We can change the color temperature. That's more of a yellow color. It's more of a blue. So I think it had six different color temperatures on here. So you can change it to meet your needs. So it looks like the way the brightness works is you can hold it down and it will make it dimmer or hold it down and it'll go brighter. And here's with the light off. So I think this is a great option if you're looking for a desk lamp that has a low profile. It just has a single bar that goes up and it's very positionable. I could even turn it left and right like so if I needed. So it's a very minimalist design but it puts out a tremendous amount of light. 1200 lumens is comparable to a regular light bulb, as opposed to some desk lamps that put out as much light as say a flashlight. This will really light up your desk and it bathes it in really like clear, bright light. I like that ambient light control. You could leave this on all the time and then at night it will get brighter and during the day it will go down. This could be especially helpful. Like right now it's getting dark out because it's going to rain soon. If I had this upstairs where I have the light coming in the window brightening up my desk, when it starts to get dark outside this will brighten up and then when the storm passes it will go back down. So I did a quick test on this and I unplugged it while the light was on and it does seem to retain the settings. So if you turn this to say a very yellow light at a dim setting and you unplug it and plug it back in it will go back to that same dim yellow light. Also, if it's on, it will turn back on. If it's off, it will stay off. So what that means is that you could control this with a smart device like an Amazon ALEXA plug, and you can say to your device, turn the desk light on, and it will turn this on and off, and it will retain the settings that you prefer on this. So that may be important to some people. You could also say operate this with a surge protector switch or a wall switch or something like that and it will retain the last settings that you used on it. So that's the Cable Rica 31 and a half inch LED architecture light. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time goodbye.